This is one of the most representative ancient buildings in Nanjing, Confucius Temple. The Confucius Temple was first built in 1034 AD to commemorate the ancient sage, Confucius. Today, it has become one of the most famous cultural attractions in Nanjing. The Confucius Temple is mainly composed of three parts, namely the Shangyuan Hall, the Atrium, and the Shaoyuan Hall. Among them, the Shangyuan Hall is the most important hall, with a magnificent architectural style, and there is a statue of Confucius in the hall, which is solemn and solemn. An atrium is a group of buildings built later, showing the traditional residential buildings in Nanjing, and it is an excellent place to appreciate the architectural style of the Confucius Temple. The Shaoyuan Hall is also one of the core buildings of the Confucius Temple in Nanjing. It was built in the Yuan Dynasty and was mainly used for worshipping Confucius. There are also many cultural attractions related to Confucius culture in the Confucius Temple, such as Songda Hall, Kongjing Hall, Lantian Pool, Copper Bowl, Iron Harrier, etc. There are many classic quotes of Confucius in Songda Hall, where visitors can experience the profoundness of Confucius thoughts. The Kongjing Hall was built to commemorate Zisi, the proudest disciple of Confucius, and there are many cultural relics and portraits of Zisi displayed in it. Lantian Pool is another highlight of the Confucius Temple. It is the only ancient palace-style pool in Nanjing and the only place where you can make a wish in the Confucius Temple. The street food in Confucius Temple is also a must-try in Nanjing. There are many special snacks, such as roast duck blood vermicelli, Nanjing roast duck, lion head, and jinling crisp. When you walk out of the Confucian Temple, night has fallen, walking along the alleys of the Confucius Temple, you will find that there are many snack and handicraft shops here so you can enjoy the fun of food and shopping. If you are interested in ancient Chinese culture and history, you can learn more at the nearby Nanjing Museum. As the night darkened, the lights of the Confucius Temple became brighter. As if the history and culture here were telling unknown stories to people, the Confucius Temple has experienced thousands of years of ups and downs and witnessed the rise and fall of China. Today, it is still a cultural treasure that attracts people to visit. If you travel to Nanjing, you must not miss the Confucius Temple. There are not only ancient architecture and culture, but also food and art, as well as unknown mysteries and stories.